Joining me now is Wizzy Brown with the Texas A&M AgriLife Extension. Thank you so much for joining us, Wizzy. Thank you. So today we are talking about pests, and this is a big one, especially as the weather starts to warm up, we're getting excited for spring. What are some of those pesky pests that we need to watch out for here in Central Texas? Well, the interesting thing with insects is less than 5% of insect species are considered to be pests. It's just that they're the ones most people pay attention to because they're doing something that we don't want them to do. But there are a bunch of beneficial insects that you can find in the landscape. And, you know, there's a lot of insects that, you know, don't necessarily affect us in one way or the other, but they kind of fit into the ecosystem and food webs and things like that. So when I tell people to think about insects and pests, I always try to encourage them not only to think about just what the insect is, but where it's located and what it's doing. Because if it's in a location that you want it to be and it's doing something that you want it to do, then it's fine. But any insect, if you put it someplace that you don't want it or it's doing something that you're not jazzed about, can turn into a pest. You know, a good example of that would be caterpillars. There are people that caterpillars are a pest because they eat foliage and they can cause damage to the plants, but then there are also caterpillars that people try to conserve in the landscape because they turn into butterflies and they want those. So it's all about how you kind of look at it. There are these uh, wasps, there are actually tons and tons of wasps, that um, they are parasitic and they will lay their eggs and insects, different stages of insects, and then they will eat those insects as they develop. And so it's a method of controlling insects without you know, using any pesticides. You're using other bugs to control bugs, which is super cool. Sounds good. Wizzy Brown, thank you so much for joining us and, and sharing you. everything we need to know when it comes to the good bugs, maybe not the quite good bugs, uh, <laughs> and what we need to do to be prepared for spring.